This video is proudly sponsored by Cam Hoskin, a channel home to an inspirational young songwriter from the United Kingdom. Why not listen to his cover of Katy Perry's spellbinding album track hit, Not Like The Movies, available to download right now. For further details, don't forget to look in the description of this very video where you'll find a link to download the track and a link to his official channel. Whilst you're on his channel page, why not subscribe? Because he has some great videos already available for you to watch and enjoy, and he's in the process of creating his first original studio album. Cameron has kindly sponsored this channel, so please download his song, or visit the channel and subscribe ready for his original tracks coming soon. Thank you. Hey guys, it's me, the Team Talks, and this is another video for you. This one's been a long time in the making, and I really mean that, uh, because I actually started the making of this video back in August, when it was my birthday on the 30th of August. So yeah, that's when I was 16, and so I filmed this vlog that you're about to see on that day when we went to BBC Television Centre, which was an amazing trip. I loved it, and it was so good. And then I kept forgetting to edit it, and I had something else to edit all the time. And, but now it's finally been edited, and I thought I'd get it up to you before Christmas, and here you go. So for my birthday this year, we visited BBC Television Centre where we saw some cool props like the Doctor Who TARDIS, which was signed. Then we went through the main entrance, which is funny to think that famous people walk in and out of those same doors every day. This is the actual building or a section of it, and it's actually shaped in a question mark, which was a deliberate move. Here's Madonna's changing room, which is so cool to think we were in the same room as she sometimes stays in, as well as the same room J-Lo stays in when she comes and visits, and they can sit on this same toilet and watch their own music videos on this TV screen, which is pretty cool. They did tell us some funny stories. So here's a booth that they could sit in if they wanted to. And obviously, this is actually the Strictly Come Dancing Studio. If you look carefully, you can see where they film on the judges' table. But obviously, everyone knows X Factor's better. This is a Jadoon and a Cyberman. And of course, News Round, uh, it's a BBC news show for kids and stuff, which was pretty cool. And this is the weakest link actual kind of set. It's Anne Widdicombe's tables, if you like her podiums, if you know any of the BBC shows, but you might not. So that was pretty cool to think that we were in the same vicinity as so many famous people have been. And then I presented the weather. Here you go. The area, as you can see, there. Uh, lots of rain. <laughs> open hand, open hand, set, open hand. Lovely. Um, well, there's going to be severe storms going on, so watch yourself. Oh, in, in China, there's going to be some torrential rain going on, so. You take, you take your <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, so, they've got a bit of trouble going on there. Not the nicest of place to be at the minute. Uh, now, as we go across the world. Uh, That's it, lovely. One point out. Keep going. You're doing very well. This was earlier today. So, the blue screen didn't completely work earlier, but then it worked really well at this point. As you can see, it's just my head standing there, and then I get spun by someone that looks strangely familiar. Oh no, it's Peter Kay. Anyway, so this is the BBC logo of me standing in front of it. It was an amazing day. Thank you to my parents and my brother from the Ninja Dog for taking me. Such an amazing trip and I loved it. So what did you think of the trip? Doesn't look good. I absolutely enjoyed it so much. It was so amazing. Didn't get to meet any real famous people apart from Peter Kay. Now, um, there were some famous people on their way in because they had like a a chauffeur bit where it says who's coming in, who's going out, and there were some on their way in in about five, ten minutes time, but unfortunately we just missed them, just a bit. I also nearly broke the uh, podiums that I talked about in the video, because I was standing up on them to video for you, and I kind of bashed into something and set off for a while, but it stopped quickly, luckily, for you. But anyway, yeah, Strictly Come Dancing and Rex Factor, which one do you prefer? If you're not in England and you don't know what the hell I'm on about, then I'm sorry. But, so Strictly Come Dancing, not X Factor, obviously that's where they feel Strictly Come Dancing. But, to be honest, of the two I prefer X Factor, but I prefer to go to the BBC Television Centre rather than ITV. Let me know what you think. Which one would you prefer? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe up there to this channel and my second channel, T2. Thanks and bye for now.